What is happening all you minties? This is the Uncanny Omar from Near Mint Condition and join me today to take a look at the collected editions from DC solicitations for February of 2021. Stay tuned. And welcome back everybody. You all know the rules by now. Some of these books may be delayed. Let's hope that's for the best case scenario if they get delayed. No, best case scenario is if they come out on time. What the hell am I talking about? Uh, hopefully none of these will be canceled. So keep that in mind. Some of these may change the date uh, when these were originally solicited for maybe a future possible release date in 2021. But let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna start with Dark Knight's Death Metal Deluxe Edition. So, it is confirmed that it is a deluxe edition, collecting all seven issues, all of this written, of course, by Scott Snyder, drawn by Greg Capullo, no mention yet of an omnibus, by the way. Scott Snyder, a couple of years ago, teased that there would be a DC Metals omnibus, but he's not done with the story quite yet. Uh, Batgirl, Volume 8, The Joker War. Now, this is solicited as a card cover, and it looks to be standard size because it's 45 through 50. But damn, I love that cover. It makes it look so epic. That is uh, Joshua Middleton, one of my favorite artists. He's changing his art up a little bit, but it's still gorgeous. Then we have Batman Detective Comics Volume 5, The Joker War. So it looks like the, all the Bat Family books are going to be going through this Joker War uh, event. This here collects the, oh my goodness, Detective Comics 1020 through 1026, and then a story from 1027. Uh, something I can't mention because it will spoil something for people. And annual number three. And then Nightwing is also part of this crossover. So Nightwing, the Joker War hardcover coming out. Uh, this one's coming out in March. $29.99. All of these are hardcovers. And this one collects Nightwing 70 through 77 and annual number three. Uh, one that I mentioned during my haul because it just showed up in the catalog. But here it is. Solicited coming out in July of 2021 125 dollars 376 pages and that is absolute wonder woman gods and mortals so this is the george perez uh greg potter lane ween post-crisis wonder woman stories because it collects issues 1 through 14. i want to say this is half of the omnibus at 376 pages because the omnibus collects issues 1 through 24 if i'm not mistaken and the first annual very interesting decision why they decided to go with this. I love George Perez's artwork, but I mean, are they going to go through the entire George Perez event, including War of the Gods? If they do that, that will probably be about six absolute editions, or are they just sticking to George Perez artwork? Whatever the case is, it's going to be interesting to see future solicitations of that. Batman and the Outsiders Volume 3 coming out. This is the story that's written by Brian Hill, but it's got artwork by Dexter Soy. I really enjoyed uh, the first trade paperback of this. This collects issues 13 through 17 of that run. Batman Arkham, Talia Al Ghul. That's a cover by Cliff Chang. You know, Cliff Chang was a guy that I, I was not the biggest fan of, and then he just started growing on me more and more, and I really have enjoyed his art recently. I don't know why. Maybe it's like the Frank Quietly case. I never was a big fan of Frank Quietly, and then he just started growing on me. Um, but this collects, it looks to be just random stories from all over the years, from the 70s and 80s, 90s, and Batman Incorporated. That can't be right. Hold on a second. The solicitations can't be right, because it's saying that, and I'm putting the solicits down at the bottom, this book is only $29.99 and has 320 pages. How is it going to collect Batman Incorporated 2 through 13 and Batman 34 and 35? That seems like a lot of issues, plus all the other stuff. Maybe it's just parts of it. And then we have Batman Beyond, Volume 8, The Eradication Agenda, collecting issues 43 through 50. This series is something that I, I got rid of my trade paperbacks. I had the first four, and I really enjoyed them. And I wish they would have collected them in omnibus format, but I was a big fan of this series. This is now written by... Dan Jurgens and it's uh, you got phenomenal artwork. You've got Sean Chan and Paul Pelletier. Another one that comes as a big surprise is Batman: A Death in the Family, the deluxe edition. So you have Jim Starlin and Marv Wolfman, meaning that this is not just collecting a death in the family, but also a lonely place of dying. So if we look at the, let's see, this is forty nine dollars and ninety nine cents because this is a deluxe edition, two hundred and eighty pages. 
So it does collect Batman 426 through 429, 440 to 442, and New Teen Titans 60 to 61. So that is a lonely place of dying. So you have the death of one Robin and this beginning story of another Robin. Batman's Grave, the complete collection. I want to say this is the Warren Ellis Maxi series that came out a few years back. Because uh, it's got artwork by Brian Hitch. So it's the same team that did The Authority and Stormwatch. And co yes, collects issues 1 through 12. Batman Superman Volume 2, World's Deadliest. I feel like that came out, Volume 1 came out almost a year ago. I know The Astonishing Melanie reviewed it for the channel. This is written by Joshua Middleton, or Will Williamson, sorry, Middleton's uh, in my head because I love that art. Uh, but it's got artwork by Clayton Henry, uh, Del Eaglesham, and also Nick Darrington. Collecting Batman Superman 7 through 15 and Batman Superman Annual Number 1. Black Canary, Bird of Prey. This looks to be just a collection of different era of Black Canary. So you got stories from Brave and the Bold, Flash, and the DC Specials and Adventure Comics. Deceased is finally getting a trade paperback edition. So collecting the first six issues of that miniseries and then a good day to die one shot. The Final Night. I got so excited when I saw this in the catalog because I thought it was going to be a hardcover. But it is indeed a trade paperback and not really adding much of anything. Uh, collecting Final Night 1 through 4, Parallax Emerald Knight, and Final Night Preview number 1, which was previously collected in the old trade paperback. However, this time around, they're adding Green Lantern 81. And I'm an idiot. I will buy it because of that one issue. What can I say? I'm a big fan of those stupid stories. Actually, that, that was a good story. I liked Final Night. Is there any other Final Night fans out there? I stand by my statement. Flashpoint. Here it is. The 10th anniversary omnibus. Wish it didn't say that because I'm sure they'll put it on the cover on the spine and then when they reprint it, they'll take it off. $150, 1,504 pages. Look at those content. This is huge. Holy crap. Booster Gold. 44 through 47. Huh. Okay. So it is collecting Flashpoint, the miniseries. Flash 9 through 12. Flashpoint, Reverse Flash, uh, Citizen Cold. It's got all the little mini series from Flash, from the Flashpoint world. So yes, I mean, of course I'll be picking it up, but still, interesting that they're doing Flash nine through twelve. I don't see Flash one through eight of that series. That is, of course, the return of a character. Hmm, because that's not collected in the sec. I don't have the second omnibus. It's not out yet. So I can't see if that's collected in the second omnibus issues one through eight of that series. Who knows? All right, let's see. This is one I'm excited to talk about. JLA, Tower of Babel Deluxe Edition. Not an omnibus, but okay, let's see what they did. Uh, so it looks like this is collecting the Mark Waite stuff. So it's got issues 18 through 21 and 32 and 33. Excellent, because those two issues, those issues right there were missing from the JLA by Grant Morrison omnibus. That makes me happy. That's good. I love when orphaned issues do come back. So it seems like to me, like maybe they had a plan. Um, I say maybe, but let's see. And then 43 through 46, and then two stories from JLA Secret Files number three. So it looks like 43 through 46 is post uh, the JLA by Grant Morrison. So it looks like we're still missing issue 35 and issue 32. Um, maybe, maybe there'll be more of these. Who knows? John Constantine, Hellblazer. I cannot wait to read this. This is the Rise and Fall hardcover edition. It is written by Tom Taylor, one of my favorite new writers, and one of my favorite artists, Derek Robertson. I love that dude's artwork. This one retails for $29.99, and it's not the only John Constantine book we're getting that uh, month. We're also getting John Constantine, Hellblazer, Volume 2, Trade Paperback, The Best Version of You. And I never finished reading this, but I love the first trade, and that is the, or the first six issues, that is the Simon Spurrier run. Uh, artwork by Aaron Campbell. Justice League Odyssey, Volume 4, Last Stand. This collects Justice League Odyssey 19 through 25. I need to catch up on those, because I have the first uh, trade. For some reason, I didn't pick up 2 and 3. Written by Dan Abnett. Red Hood Outlaw Volume 4. That's still going? I thought that book was canceled. Issues 43 through 50. Written by Scott Lobdell. Chris Cross on artwork. Brett Booth. And Paolo Pantelena. Revolver. This is a Matt Kent 
uh, book right here. This is a trade paperback edition. This is part of the DC Black Label line. And it's not just Matt Kent writing it, but he's also drawing it. So this one's coming back into print. It's been out of print for a while. Sheriff of Babylon. God, that I thought that book came out two years ago. Is getting a trade paperback edition? They used to be a lot quicker with these. I don't. I think this is the first trade paperback. It can't be. Sheriff of Babylon trade paperback. This is the one written by Tom King, artwork by Mitch Gerards. But the hardcover came out like in 2018. I want to say. Superman Adventures, Lex Luthor, Man of Metropolis, and that is, of course, based on the cartoon. These are uh, comic books that are based on the cartoon. Superman Volume 3, Truth Revealed. This is the trade paperback version. There was a hardcover version released a while back, and this is the stuff written by Brian Michael Bendis, Matt Fraction, Jody Hauser. So it's got Superman Heroes 1, Superman Villains 1, and collects Superman 16 through 19. Superman vs. Shazam! And this is a trade paperback. It's got Jerry Ordway, Mark Way, Judd Winnick. So it must be just a collection throughout the years of Superman and Shazam fighting. And last but not least, one that took me by surprise when I saw it in the catalog, is the Who's Who Omnibus Volume 1. 1,320 pages, $150. And it looks like it's collecting the, the Who's Who, the definitive directory of the dc universe 1 through 26 this is the 1985 series uh it's got the five issue updated series in 87 and then the 88 follow-up and then it's got a couple of annuals um throughout the years like the 1989 annuals i think and at 1320 pages it's got a lot of artwork i love that the cover is done by george Pettis, though but that as they say is that but don't forget, when these books do come out, check out our sponsor. CheapGraphicNovels.com, your online source for collected editions up to 50% off. Retail price. Cheap Graphic Novels prides itself on excellent packaging, so your stuff gets to you in excellent condition, and they have amazing customer service. Check out their bargain deals for up to 90% off cover price. And for all you minties that are watching, if you're a first-time customer, don't forget to mention that Near Mint Condition sent you their way for a promotional credit on free shipping on your next order. Now, this is only for U.S. customers. CheapGraphicNovels.com, your source for the hottest books with deep discounts, customer service, and excellent shipping that will keep you coming back for more. And those were all the collected editions solicited for February of 2021. Let me know in those comments down below what you're most excited about, what you're surprised about, and what you were hoping to see. For me, I'm always hoping to see Scott Snyder Batman Omnibus Volume 2 on this list. Who knows, maybe one day it will come. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button, ring that bell for notifications to let you know when our videos are going live. Speaking of live, don't forget to tune in tomorrow. We have a huge giveaway, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, Saturday, November 14th. Is it the 14th? I think it's the 14th. Um, but yeah, we have a huge giveaway. We have a lot of Omnis to give away, a lot of book lots to give away. So we'll have some kind of trivia, random number generator. It's a lot of fun. So tune in for that if you can join us. And then we'll save a couple of prizes for those of you that can't join us live. Now. Uh, where was I? Damn, I suck at signing off. That's, that's it, everybody. Stay healthy, stay safe out there. Much love. <laughs>